we basically deal with urgent samples, but mainly in patients. Every single pathology department is all in one area, so we can sort of, all samples get dropped up in one place and get cascaded to each department. The way that we help with running the hospital is dealing with these inpatients, providing them results as soon as possible. 80% of clinical decisions are based on pathology or involve pathology. Um, not just diagnosis but actually ongoing patient care. So without pathology um, there is no hospital. You have no A&E, um, you have no ICU, um, you have no service. I'm working in a specimen reception area in the lab. As soon as we see it, we sort it as soon as possible. We, you can see here is the, is the this port system. It belongs to every single ward. We receive and we as soon as we saw here, we just sort it, take it out, bouquet. Any sample, they got a one hour, one hour turnaround time. And the other routine work is a four hour turnaround time. We booked in the, put in the system, all the data, and we're ready to use for the lab for processing as soon as possible. Work in the hematology and in blood transfusion lab. Quite a busy lab. We process about two and a half thousand groups and saves a month, um, issuing about 550 to 600 red cells every month and about 80 to 110 pools of platelets. We do inpatients um, as well as private patients and pre-op samples. So there is quite a lot that we cater to and within transfusion we also need to be prepared for emergencies like major hemorrhages. So you just never know what you're going to get, but obviously we're all trained to sort of deal with these emergencies. Um, as a biomedical scientist, we will, so there's a lot of technical stuff, so we, we do maintenance on the analyzers, we, we maintain them, we fix them when they have problems. A bit of IT thrown in as well, so troubleshooting. Um, we process samples, we, we technically validate them. A bit of technical, a bit of clinical detail. Um, we don't actually do all of the tests, so any specialised tests that we would need to send to immunology, virology or microbiology, um, this is where it's processed and also any specialised tests, um, genetics, um, bone marrows and anything like that um, to send to other hospitals, this is where it's get, it gets processed, stabilised and sent off. And I work within the clinical team. The clinical team's role is to uh, look at the results that come from the lab um, we authorise the results, so it's like, a, it's like a second check after the results come out of the lab. But we're also looking at the results and we might add comments to help um, the requesters um, to be able to interpret their um, results. You know, you want to go home at the end of the day to make, know that you've made a difference to someone's life. You never know what you're going to be hit with. One day you may have a major hemorrhage, you may have two, you may get a new patient who's got antibodies that you then have to investigate. You sort of become a detective because you're trying to find out what antibodies that patient has. It's definitely never a boring day here, that's for sure. <laughs>